Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In this video, we will see how you can modify or alter your table once you have created. Friends, there may be some scenarios where once you have created your table, after some time, you need to do some modification in that. So, how you can perform those type of queries in PostgreSQL? Let us first understand, understand the syntax, okay? Okay, so there are various tasks that you can perform with single alter query. First of all, you can add a new column. Then you can drop a column. And you can also modify the data type. Of the column. Okay, so first let us understand how to add any column. The syntax is alter table, the name of the table. then add because you want to add something then the name of the column column name and the data type that's it it is the syntax first of all you need to write alter because you want to modify some changes then table then you specify the name of the table then add because you want to add something then the column name that you want to add and the data type of that column so let's so open pg admin we have database test database okay so query tool now let us add uh, some column in our existing table here you can see we have employee table and student table in student table we have only two columns roll number and name so let us add a new column last name in student table so alter because we want to alter the existing table table name of the table now we want to add something and the name of the column name now I want to store only the initial only the first alphabet of the surname so our data type will be care okay so query return successfully okay so just you need to right click on the table and refresh And we have L name here. You can see roll number, name, and so this is how you can add a new column to existing table. Uh, also, let us try to add a new column in employee table as well. Okay, so in employee we have employee ID and employee name. So let us add a salary column. Okay. Syntax will be the same editor table then name of the table this time we want to add something in employee so employee then add name of the column and the data that will be it okay again alter table name of the table in this case it will be employee we want to add something that's why we write add here name of the new column that we want to add salary and the data type will be int okay so what very successful return just right click refresh and you can see salary is added okay 
So this is how you can add new columns through alter query. So now come to the drop. Now we can only in, we can not only add a new column, we can also drop an existing column. The syntax is very similar. Alter table in table name. Now this time we want to drop something. So write drop. Then we specify the column that we want to drop. And that's it. Alter table name of the table. Drop because we want to drop or delete something. And the name of the column we want to delete. Okay, open PG admin. Now let us try to remove this salary from the employee. Okay, so alter table. Now the name of the table drop and the column name, which will be salary. Again, alter table because we want to modify or alter the table, then specify the name of the table, then drop and the salary. Okay, F5, query return successfully, just right click on that and refresh. And you can see salary will be gone. Let us see one more example. Let's try to remove this alien. Okay, alter. Table name of the table will be student this time. Drop L name. Okay. Just right click on and you can see roll number and name only. Okay. So this is how we can drop a column. Now let us come to the last point, which is modify the data type of the column. Okay, so alter table name of the table. Now we want to modify alter again. Now which column we want to modify? Column name type type is the keyword. And the new data type let me type new data type here so that you will not confuse new data type okay alter table name of the table then again alter the name of the column we want to modify type because we want to modify the data type and new data type open PG admin again let us first of all I do not want to mess up with my existing column so let me insert a new column then later on we will change the data type okay so student table alter table name of the table then again alter sorry First we want to add, now we will add L name and here, okay, just right click refresh and you can see. Now we will change the data type, so replace add with alter, alter, column name, L name, type and now I change my mind, I want to uh, store entire surname instead of initials okay so write back here let's say length of 10 and our query written successfully just refresh 
in name right click over here and go to properties in definition and you can see character varying length of 10 it's changed again let us see one more example this time employee okay we have employee id and e name let us try to insert a new column which will be middle name okay alter table name of the table will be employee add m name care okay refresh let me show you the properties first of all and you can see character of one length okay now i want to alter now can be that time where can let's just seven okay where it can successfully we refresh here M name go to properties definition and you can see data type is changed to where care of the seven length so this is how you can use alter query to perform various tasks in postgresql thanks for watching it